that's where the money's at. Is in the late nights. Yeah. But even then, it's hard because you know you're taking somebody home. You're going back to the bar to pick somebody up. Yeah. Alright, 20 now, so I'm trying to figure out where this place is at. And I'm gonna miss this metal. Yeah, it's like a little shack. It's off to the right. You know? it, it will be on the right, you're right. Uh, For sure. I'm just trying to, trying to, I know it's up before Stevenson Drive. It's gotta be before Stevenson Drive. You know, it's gotta be off to the right here, someplace. Is that it, that little snowball place? Yep, yep, snow bay, there you go. Alright. I've never seen it back there. I was, Cause I was looking. Like I thought, I thought it'd be close to the road. Yeah, it looks like a. And you like can hardly anybody here. Why don't you uh, go ahead? Uh, what do you think? Add the thing. How many people are in line here? You got uh, two people in line, and one looks like she's already been served. You want me to get closer for you? No, I can. I can. You want to go? We'll go. We'll go. Right here. You want it? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, let me. Let me. You know what? Let me call it one back. I'll call the new one. Don't worry about well, it. Well, okay, because I'll, I'll be gone. So another ride. Don't worry about it. I appreciate it. Thank Don't you. Have a good one, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Get in it. Mm. Watermelon, banana, peach, I think. Mm. Or mango. Singaporean is like an eighth of the time. <laughs> you know, first six minutes. Let's get really sleepy. I don't know what it is. I can't make it to the end. Yeah, I Recently had the best sushi in my entire life. So a hole in the wall called Happy Sushi. Just let me explain to you how delicious this is. I ate a month ago. And I got violently ill from food poisoning. And I went back three days later. Yeah, it's a good setup. People are trying to eat and shit, but you know. Yeah. Sorry. Um, in case you're wondering why Mike Burnett isn't standing here right now, well, it started this way. I was at home minding my own business today, and uh, get the phone rings, and it's Mike. And the first thing is he needs to borrow my guitar, and I said, eh, all right, I'll, I'll let you borrow my guitar. And uh, then he explains he's not going to be able to make. It. He said, well, you can play too. You can come down. Blah 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 blah. So I said, I said, all right. So. We'll be Dance Changes her hair from blonde to black Falls asleep to amphetamines She's so mesmerized By the camera lights She's so optimistic Only a fool would miss it When the new love comes around Very tall guy. I'm actually six foot seven, seven foot 
in heels. Oh my. Uh, and contrary to popular belief, I am not good at sports. Uh, basketball, I'm not very good at basketball. The only threes I get are at 2 a.m. when the bars are closing. <laughs> I was so bad at baseball as well. In Little League, like, I was the backup, backup left fielder. So I never did anything. I just sat in the dugout all night, took my cup out of my pants, put it to my face, and acted like I was a belly dancer. I was like, my name is Esmeralda. Come here, Coach Jones. He never took the bait. A lot, a lot of people like to give me clever nicknames like Sasquatch, Lurch, Jolly Green Giant. I keep can't can tell from my well-styled hair and my very, very stylish and fitting clothes. I am also a gay guy. It's uh, 2018, you can applaud, or it's Trump's America, you can boo. Do whatever you feel like. <laughs> But growing, like I was, I came out later in life. Like, but my mom, she always knew I was gay. She would ask me, like, Trevor, are you gay? And I'd be like, No, mom, I'm not gay. So that means you like girls, right? And I'm like, Yep, girls all the way. And then she's like, Well, then why won't you have sex with me? Oh my. Which is entirely inappropriate because I was 13. <laughs> But eventually, at the age of 21, I did come out of the garage, not the closet. <laughs> but when I first came out, I was still scared of being known as the gay guy. Like, so I would do things to try and hide it. Like, push a shopping cart with one hand. Because that's what straight guys do, right? Straight guys? You want to answer? <laughs> it's, not, it's not a good look. He just got that. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, I had a girlfriend one time, uh, her nickname for me was Flu Shot. She would never tell me why my nickname was Flu Shot, till one day I went to get a Flu Shot. I said to the nurse, I was like, hey, is this is this going to hurt? She's like, oh no, it'll just be a little prick. Uh oh. <laughs> well, she didn't like him. Uh, I have to say though, um, I think my favorite nickname, my favorite nickname of all, is Spider-Man. And my nickname is Spider-Man because sometimes when I'm having sex, I'll be up all the way in there and I stop. I don't move at all. Okay. That's right. I'm a Peter Parker. Oh my god. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Some of you I'm gonna get no some idea. females up here, but there's <laughs> yeah, but you comedians face, aren't but aren't classy. No, it's not dark. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> on the way here, I was listening to music and uh, I was listening to the radio, and Hank Williams Jr. came on. He was singing a song about how all you need in life is good friends, good whiskey, and good loving. So I started crying and changed the radio station. Next thing that came on was this band called The Lonely Island, and they're kind of a comedy group. They have a song called Dick in a Box. And it reminds me that for Valentine's Day, I got my girlfriend Dick in a Box, and she thought I was proposing. Apparently, most guys are able to use a bigger box. Dang. <laughs> I like how it's all and then you laugh. It's like, oh, that's true, but you gotta give it to him. I mean. <laughs> So the beginning of my sex life was uh, awkward, which I'm sure you guys could have guessed based on, well, essentially everything about me so far. But uh, ho hold on, I know you're confused. You're like, somebody slept with them, and uh, I was confused too. But uh, I'm very aware of the fact that I look like a Sheldon from Big Bang. So as you can tell, I don't really have the best of luck. It's not bad luck, it's more of a, uh, does that really happen? Type of luck? Often happens in the restroom. It's not going where you think, don't worry. Uh, I have a space heater in my restroom because I'm very small and get cold easily. I wish that was a punchline. And uh, I was getting in the shower, you know, I decided to unplug the space heater because the electronics and water don't mix. And I have the space heater in my left hand, and I go to unplug it with the right, and I accidentally knock over a hand towel. And my instincts make me try to catch the towel. And when I did, my body made this motion. Which the heater made contact with my body. And essentially what happened is I got a second degree burn in my third rate tech. Oh. That happened before I left for college. In college, I'm shaving in the shower. Shaving in the shower because our sinks are zero degrees or a hundred. 
That's just what I pay for. But uh, shaving is going fine, as it should. And somehow I dropped the razor. It fell and cut off the tip of my right nipple. Ooh. I didn't even know you could do that. I don't really have a punchline. I'm trying to let you guys know how I'm doing in my life right now. But I go to school at Emerson College in Boston. It's a very, very liberal college. It's, uh, it's different. Than